お前、いいカップってマジんはぁ ?Look at you. Today, we are checking out the new episode of Alia Sometimes Hides Her Feelings in Russian. But first, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can help us reach 100,000 by the end of the year. We're like 7K away. All right, make it six, five, four, three, two, one, and then there, with your help, just subscribe. You can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, you'll find some other links down in the description if you like non anime reactions, K drama reactions. I do that on a separate channel. And maybe you're interested in stopping by the Twitch streams, my live streams where I watch anime with these people right here in chat. And you could be like these people, these beautiful people, except for Sadist, not him.、Uh, but everyone else, very beautiful, and be like them. Stop by, hang out. Let's watch the episode. Oh, interesting. She's trying to attack him at a, at a place where he's not capable or where he's less capable. Alia feels more insulted that she insulted her mans. What if she goes for a different line of argument than that? And you're setting Alia up for failure. Wait, what motives would it be? He abandoned the favorite to be on someone else's team. I don't get that. It's not like he's a, a bandwagoner. He's jumping on the underdog's team. So then she just thinks that he's abandoning someone he's known for a long time for someone he's known for less time. But like, why does that fucking matter to her? Why is she the fucking、uh, the childhood friend police? You know? Why is she so up in arms about it? How dare you abandon your childhood friend? Well, it's a spoiler. Oh, okay. Then I will avoid that question. Thank you for letting me know. Spoiler is that that one girl wants to fuck Yuki. She talks so chill. She's in love with her and she feels offended that our boy would abandon his childhood friend. But once again, that has, no, that has nothing to do with her. So I don't, I don't know why that would be a thing either. It has to be something about Yuki. That's the only reason he would be so up in arms. It either has to do with Yuki, or it has to do with Alia, or it has to do with. What's this guy's name again? Masachka or something like that? Okay, I was right then. All right, cool. I don't remember anybody's names and anything. Why would I remember this guy's name, right? When we got the best girls in this anime. Right, chat? Right, YouTube comments? I'm not just coping and covering for my lack of remembering things. You got this, girl? Get it! Whoa! <laughs> Also, I do want to mention, I think somebody mentioned at one point in time that like the,、uh, the cup sizes are, are different in Japan compared to like, I guess, America. In Japan, it's like two cups larger. So her being an E is more like an American C, which I think makes a lot more sense. Ooh, interesting. What do you mean by that? You don't need to be perfect, just do whatever you think is cool. Okay. Oh, I like that. She, he, he basically said, rely on me. Just like chill, yeah, loosen up, and, and no matter what, I got your back. I object! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. So 
So teachers have to approve student council members is essentially what she's arguing. Everyone in the student council right now would probably be approved by a teacher. What are we doing? You know? Bro, and they're talking about getting a more exclusive student council. There's like six people in the student council. It's not like they're rolling deep as hell. Well, here's the problem. Teachers, if, okay, you say teachers could place who they believe is better for them. That does lead to some, like, uh, conflicting stuff where teachers could benefit more from it, right? But also, here's another thing. What if, like, the teachers, uh, the, uh, the whole approval process, you still have to find people that want to be in the student council. And chances are the people that want to be in the student council are people that will still be approved by teachers. So, nobody that is a bad student wants to be in the student council. They want to just fuck off all day and not give a shit. The people that care about the school, that want to do the whatever, those are the ones that are going to get approved regardless. It's just a really long way to kick out Masachka because he's a slacker. But doesn't he have good grades? Oh, he's in the middle. He's not like one of the higher performers. Oh. But then why don't we make an argument? There's an argument to be made that the best students don't make for the best leaders. Just because you're good at studying this shit that someone tells you to study doesn't mean that you are the best leader. In fact, it fit, if anything, it makes you the best follower because you are doing what's told of you, right? I don't know. So maybe someone that doesn't follow all the rules is the best leader. But also probably not because, you know, then you're like disobeying the rules and like you got it. The rules are there for a reason, right? Anyways. <laughs> Fake news! She's lying. She's a liar. Don't believe her. She thinks the teachers are the ones that'll appoint people. Wrong. She's wrong and ugly. She's ugly and fat and wrong. And actually, the teachers are also ugly and fat. <laughs> You're all stupid, everyone watching. <laughs> you in the audience. <laughs> Do we get to see what she says? By the way, the only reason I was doing the Trump thing is literally because he said, just go out there and do whatever you think looks cool. So basically, like, don't care so much. Just do whatever you want. And I feel like that's kind of like what Trump does. He just goes out there and he just just does whatever the fuck he wants, you know? I mean, it's the same thing. We don't elect everybody in, like, the president's cabinet, right? The president appoints whoever he wants to the positions. And that's why... Ooh, I like that. That's a good... Hey, that's a good argument. Why is no one yapping to each other? Everybody should be like... Right? There we go. There's the yapping we were looking for. Oh. Why are you looking at him like that? Get out of here. Stop looking at him like that. Yo, I don't feel like we're getting any Yuki in this episode, so I'm glad I watched it after Oshinoko. And nobody gave it. No one's even going to watch this episode if Yuki don't show up. I'm going to be honest with you. This is about to be the least viewed episode of Alia if there's no fucking Yuki. We need Yuki. Has there been any downturn? Yeah! Mmm! 
やっててくれたな桜かえどうなんですインディストリープラン She's got the industry plants. He said, I would have your back. Just go out there and be cool, and I'll have your back. And now, what did he do? He had her back, right? Little tap on the back. <laughs> oh, so true. So true. Great fucking argument to clap back with. She lost, bro. So she was jealous of the bond that they had? Here's the thing. You can be seen as perfect with someone. Is it not possible that you can also be seen as even more perfect with someone else? She basically acted like they were soulmates. But like, how do you, maybe they were just good together, but like his real soulmate, someone else, you know? You don't know. I mean, we, as fans of this anime, are much like her. We're the same. We cry whenever we see uh, Masachika with someone else. We don't want that. We want to see Masachika with Yuki, his blood-related sister. Because that's what anime is about. Uh, and she's going to take care of her friend now. Yo, I guess she got a lot of respect more for Kuze than for Yuki, huh? What oh, thing she a fan? She a fan, she a fan. I think she likes uh Kuze. You what the fuck? Killer instinct. <laughs> Yo, Yuki saving the show. Let's go. Yuki's and she's like putting on an act, dude. This is all an act. The sheer confidence in every word. Just shitting on everything that they do. Well, I don't really know about that. You know, I thought that they were pretty good. Maybe they will be difficult to defeat. <laughs> it was all a ruse. Come on, be a boss with me. Oh. oh. Okay, now I will do the same. Money. So 
強ドラ演出というのは最終的に負ける側に人間がやるものではないでしょうか。For shadowing. あと、先ほども申し上げましたが、調校室は飲食厳禁です。あえろ、片付けようか。かしこまりまし。Oh, is he about to say something? He about to tell her? No way. So it's like, you know what I'm saying, right? Excellent question. What is the reason? Milashka! Patamush to tie to the tea. What? Wait, what does Patamush to tie to tea mean? Google Translate at home. What's that mean? She said because it's you. Oh, that's it? Why me? Because it's you. What? Oh, true. He would, he'll just translate it for us later. I forgot. You're right. You're right. He, he'll do it. I was just trying to distract you from the audience. And now you know about her titties. Okay, so we don't know what the first thing was. That's unfortunate, right? Um, oh, yeah, Alia does a bunch of. Okay, what's this one? What's this thing from? I don't know what this is. It's from Re Life? Oh, I watched Re Life over on Patreon. Yeah, I watched it over on Patreon. If you want to check out my reactions to Re Life, go check out the Patreon. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't just leave a comment. Also, like and subscribe. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.